Hi, welcome to another Lawn Pond video. I'm Kara, and today we're doing some Christmas floral arranging. We'll use Shutter Card Holiday Sayings, the Magic Iris Birdhouse add on, and here are the parts I'll be using from that. And I'm going to be using this wood grain cardstock, and then also some chili pepper cardstock and a little bit of paper bag. I also have the stitched poinsettias, large wreath, and spring sprig, and a spring sprig. And that's what I'll be using in chili pepper, raspberry, guava, noble fir, cilantro, rainforest, and sage, paper bag, and I cut a little fun foam ring. To start us off, I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment from Shutter Card Holiday Sayings. I want to position it in the opening of the birdhouse, but I want it up a little bit because there will be a bird in front. And that ring from the wreath is just a little bit larger than the opening, so uh, I used it as a guide. Used some clear ink to ink the, that stamp, stamped it down, and now some white embossing powder. Sprinkle that on and I'll heat that up and there it is melted. And I'm gonna use that ring again to kind of give me a guide for cutting out this circle. It doesn't have to be perfect because it will be behind the opening. And that ring of fun foam is going to give it a little depth. Now with the sentiment embossed, I can put together the birdhouse and I'm using a little bit of hippo ink from Lawn Fawn to ink blend on that wood grain just to have it show up a little bit, give it a little shadow. So under the roof line and then also where the ridge on the bottom is going to be. And now I'm going to take some chili pepper ink and shade the bottoms of the red areas, so the scalloped areas, and also give some depth to that bird and his wing, so it shows up a little bit there. I'm shading him with the chili pepper ink, but I'm also going to use a little bit of the hippo ink just to give a little extra shading because he's our main focal point on the card. All right, well, I'll clean that area up with my stamp chamois, and then I want to add some snow to the roof line and across the bottom ridge. So I'm using Juan Fon's clear ink and I'm going to take it and wipe it against the cardstock right at the top. I'm not looking for a very clean line. I'm trying to get it to be a little bit natural like falling snow. And Clear ink is a sticky ink, so it's going to hold anything that I sprinkle on there. And I'm sprinkling on textured white embossing powder from Lawn Fawn. When I heat that up with my heat tool, it melts and kind of puffs up a bit. So it really looks like snow on the roof line. I'll take my glue tube and glue that onto the birdhouse. Now this birdhouse comes with some great florals and it will look great in spring, but uh, we really winterized it for, <laughs> for this upcoming winter uh, by putting on that snow and using some weathered wood. All right, I wanted to get his wing a little bit shaped there and I'm putting just a bit of gray cardstock. This is storm cloud car cardstock behind his eye. Just get that so that he has has an eye there and then I want to make that a little perch a little bit raised so I'm using some fun foam again and putting that down and then gluing on my little perch for him and he's gonna sit right on top of that so once I get that where it goes I can figure out how he's gonna sit on there and then glue the area that will be on the birdhouse. So he's ready to sing his winter song. <laughs> his winter song. We have all kinds of winter birds in our yard, so I guess that kind of reminds me of that. Well, here's that uh, bit of craft foam on the back, and that is to put the sentiment behind so that it's the inside of the birdhouse. And so just glue that on and place it where I think it should go and that's why that bird's on there first so that I can 
look at that sentiment through there and, and just place it where I want it. Make sure that's glued down. And if I had put some acetate on here, I could have made this into a shaker, but there's gonna be a lot going on on this card because ooh, there's all the florals that we're going to be arranging with the birdhouse. Now, this is the spring sprig, and instead of putting flowers on it, which that's what it's for, I'm just coloring up those little uh, circle areas as berries. So I'm using Copic markers for this, and so an R29 and R59, and now I'm getting my different sizes and colors of poinsettias ready and taking some ink. This is, again, chili pepper ink and just ink blending around the leaves and in the centers so that they look like they're shaped a bit or, or um, they have some depth to them. And I'm using the same color, the same chili pepper color on the raspberry cardstock and the guava cardstock as well kind of gets them all a little bit more um, cohesive <laughs> and then I'm taking some noble fur and using that ink on the noble fur cardstock giving that a little shape to the leaves I'll use sage leaf for the sage cardstock peacock for the forest, rainforest, and then dough for the paper bag. We have birds on our Christmas dishes. We actually call them winter dishes because we like to keep them out till March. They uh, have the cardinal, the goldfinch, nuthatch, and chickadees on them, and we have all of those in our backyard, so that's kind of fun. We also have some blue jays, and uh, contrary to belief, these Blue jays are, are being nice, but sometimes they don't come around when the hawk is there. So we have quite the variety of birds that keep us entertained in the winter. All right, well, putting these poinsettias together, there's so many ways to arrange them. So this is the largest, and that's in the chili pepper. And then I have the medium in raspberry and the smallest one in guava, just gluing them together. And so for my next one, I'm going to make a smaller one. And so I have raspberry medium and a chili pepper small one and a guava small one. And so I'm just going to glue those together. And then my largest one is going to have two of the large die cuts in chili pepper followed by a medium raspberry and a small guava. I wasn't sure what colors I wanted to use for the centers. I googled poinsettias and looked at what the centers were like, and you know, there's a variety, but uh, I wanted kind of a dark green going to light green. And I wasn't sure if I should start with the cilantro or start with the sunflower cardstock. And uh, in the end, I decided on the cilantro and then used Noble Fur ink to ink blend the centers. And now I'm going to fluff up my poinsettias. And one way to do that is to pull the leaves of one die cut forward through the leaves of the one in front of it. And that props those leaves up. Now I'm calling them leaves. That's, I guess, technically what they are on a poinsettia petals, leaves, whatever. I'm not, <laughs> I don't need to be too technical there, but you know what I'm saying. So now I'm putting the small and large centers together and I'll glue those in. But first I want to get my other points that is fluffed up too. And so you can take different uh, layers and put them one in front of the other. It doesn't matter which ones, just gets them fluffed up and then kind of cup them up as well. Now I'll show you on this one. I'll take the bottom two and I'm going to do it upside down so you can see, but I'm just taking the bottom leaf and bringing it in front of the top leaf. Uh, this card's going to have a lot of dimension and, th and that's okay. I mean, really, this, this is one of those cards where it looks like it has more dimension than it does. There's an eighth inch of fun foam circle underneath the birdhouse. And then I will put on another 
eighth inch of foam adhesive so that these flowers can sit underneath the birdhouse. So it really is only a quarter of an inch high. And the flowers themselves, you can fluff them up pretty high, but uh, they, they, they really aren't in an envelope going to sit any higher than the birdhouse itself. So this is how I positioned the three poinsettias. So I've got the large one at the bottom and the two smaller ones at, at the top. And now I'll put that birdhouse on top of that. And that gives me the base for arranging the rest of my sprigs and leaves. And I'm letting these flowers, these poinsettias, to go off the side of the card a little bit. Now, I'll show you later, but I'm going to use a bigger envelope than the normal four and a quarter by five and a half inch one, just because I wanted those leaves to come off the sides. And so now that I have my birdhouse on here, it's time to arrange everything. Now, at first glance, it seemed like with all of those pieces, uh, a little overwhelming to arrange it. But once I put the flowers where I wanted them, I just took each grouping of die cuts together. So now the leaves of the poinsettias, and I have those all arranged where I want. I can move on to the wreath boughs. And so I've got those in both the rainforest and the sage. And I, I'm just looking at the balance. So I'm putting them coming out from the, from the large one at the bottom and then off the top and the side, just kind of getting it to where my eye thinks it looks good, finishing it off with the sprigs of berries. And so the balance really is just putting uh, them across from each other or in threes, putting them in a triangle with each other. So just figuring out what little extras I want now that I'm taking a look at it getting a little of the pine boughs up at the top corner there. Now I will clip those off when I glue them on. I don't have to use the entire bow, so that'll be easier to glue. And one more. Just <laughs> I I think you could just keep going and going or maybe you like it with less. Maybe you thought, ugh, stop there, that's too much. Uh, really, it's just a, a matter of preference there. So I'm taking one section off at a time to glue them back on. Now, this is a point where I would use my camera to take a picture of where I liked everything and then look at that photo while I'm gluing them back on. But I use my camera to do my filming, so I didn't have that luxury, but it was really easy if I just took one little section at a time, glued that where I wanted, make sure it looked good with the rest of the card, and then I can move on to the next section. Here I am pulling things out a little, making sure it's spaced right, and I'm going to do that with the next little grouping. Just start gluing each one, and here's my final little bow put in there. Now I'll attach it to a four and a quarter by a five and a half inch note card, just lining it up. And then I'll use my tape runner and add some adhesive to attach it. And I'm going to find a flat section to my card to kind of line that up and, and make sure that it's straight on there. All right, as if there wasn't enough on here, <laughs> there is this bow that comes with the wreath, the, the large wreath die set. I'm going to use my fingers to just coax it into a curve. And I'm using that rainforest cardstock. Put a little bit of glue in the center. And I could sit here with my fingers for a while, but decided, hmm, I'll use my tweezers instead. So I got those tweezers out and putting that in there. I let this sit for a few minutes and then came back and that little stem it's the center of the bow I'm wrapping that around the middle and then I'm going to take some glue and put that in the center and take those tweezers again to help me get that to sit so that I'm not sitting with it 
I, really, the glue takes less than a minute, <laughs> but, but you know, we get a little impatient. So I'm letting it sit, came back, and now this bow comes with two different types of ribbon ends. And this is the one that looks, it's going downward. It also has one that goes side to side. So I'm just gluing that on the top of my birdhouse and gluing on the bow. And there it is. This card is all done. And I decided I should show you that, yes, indeed, I'm actually going to put it in a larger envelope and it will mail out just fine. I might just hand deliver this one at Christmas time. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today and it inspired you to do a little floral arranging on a card for yourself. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.